What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and in this video we're going to be unboxing the Shure SM7B, which is right here. You're hearing me speak from it right now. Uh, it's pretty on point with what you get when you unbox it. The only difference is I did run it through uh, Sonar uh, from SteelSeries, I believe, and uh, that application allows you to add a bit of background noise removal and things like that. So I just kind of added an equalizer and removed the background noise just to clear things up and everything. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited that we finally have a quality mic, a quality webcam. Everything is starting to come up in the house. So before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. Speaking of thanks, huge shout out to Miss Mo Davis and Tammy the Psychic. Thank you for being channel members. If you want to support this channel and get shout outs in videos like this, click on that join button below. All right, so on to the unboxing itself. No, you can't guess what's inside by shaking. And we always have to try, but in this case, we have a pretty good idea of what's inside. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up uh, very carefully. And there we go. That should uh, get things opened up and we can start really exploring what we got today. Let's get rid of the packing material. And we can already see it, the Shure SM7B, the podcast mic that every podcaster has. And now your favorite YouTuber has. Also, Mike the Tech has it. I also bought this little audio splitter, which should be very useful for, uh, basically, I just want to send my computer and my TV to my speaker system, so that's pretty useful. Uh, but anyway, here's the main event here, the star of the show, the SM7B. A little bit dirty. It looks like this one's been sitting for a while. Surprising, because I figured these would go pretty quickly. There's all the specs, and let's go ahead and open it up. Slide this out first, and there's another sticker we need to uh, open up, or a piece of tape, I should say. There we go. Sure. Plain white box, nothing else really in here except for the Sure logo on both sides. And we open it up. So initially I thought on the right hand that was a manual, but that's just a cardboard insert. Let's see what's on the left here. We do have a, another uh, cover here for uh, another windscreen, I should say. And that one's more for broadcast close up mic usage. Uh, but I'm going to leave the classic one on and see how that works for me because I kind of like the look of the classic one. Uh, but that's besides the point. We'll see which one sounds better. We also have a tripod or boom uh, adapter there. And we can take this piece of cardboard out, which is very nice. Hey, there we go. We have a sticker. Always nice when companies include a little swag in there. So we got a sure sticker. And uh, the manuals, the owner manual and the information manual. Really nice to see. They had a custom uh, molded cutout for the actual microphone. It's very secure and it's not going to be sliding around or anything in there. It's nice to see. It is still cardboard, but it's a very secure cardboard, especially since it's a heavy mic. It's it's extremely, uh, it's a weighty mic. Quality, I should say. Here we have a metal cover for, I assume, the settings on the back of the mic. You don't want your guests to be messing with your settings while they're talking. And it comes with uh, some Velcro and then the microphone itself. Let's go ahead and take this out of the plastic, being very careful. Uh, I almost dropped it because it actually is very heavy. But boy, does that look nice. Isn't it just like that classic, well, I guess not the classic, but that modern podcaster microphone look. It just, it's very sleek. So uh, it, it's nice to know that the one that sounds best also kind of looks best uh, because I was very excited to, to set this up as part of my uh, streaming setup. Um, and it's a clean looking microphone for sure. Hopefully it's clean sounding as well. But yeah, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching, uh, hanging out with me during my journey. I've been on YouTube for so, so long, and I'm finally starting to get my stuff together and get some real equipment on here. It's a huge shout out to GameDev.TV. Uh, I've been releasing courses on GameDev.TV, and uh, they've been doing really, really well. And I'm excited uh, because that's kind of what's enabled me to do these upgrades, because obviously I want to sound my best for GameDev.TV courses and I want to do upgrade my microphone and my webcam and get everything really nice and quality and that's all going to spill over into my uh, YouTube career and my streaming and all that good stuff so thank you guys for hanging out with me thank you for trying out the uh, 
chorus. Uh, if you, any of you picked up the chorus, uh, I really hope you liked it. I had a great time making it. And I've got another chorus uh, coming out very, very soon, which I'll talk about soon. Uh, so yeah, I'll quit rambling. That's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Peace. Mike the tech, Mike the tech, yeah. Mike the tech, the architect, uh.